Um, hi, my name is Lisa Ann Walter. I'm the creator, executive producer, and one of the judges on Dance Your Ass Off. Hi, fans. I hope that you're enjoying watching this show that I am so proud to have created. Um, let's get right into it. Uh, I love these contestants. I love their heart. I love their spirit. I love that some of them are parents and want to be, you know, more active for their kids. Some are concerned about their health in the future, and some just want to be the best versions of themselves. I am sick and tired of... Um, a world that tells you that you have to look like a skinny stick figure. Size zero means what? What does it mean? I'm nothing. That's right. So let's love our curves. Let's love the best version of ourselves. Um, I wanted to make a show that reflected my personal experience, which was that I grew up with a weight problem. I'm Italian. I'm French. I love to cook and I love to eat what I cook. Um, and food's good. It's fun. We all enjoy sitting around the table with our family and with our friends, stuffing our faces until we can't move. In fact, at my house, Thanksgiving is not complete unless the people cannot get up from the table. They are physically ill. They have to open their pants and lay down next to the table then everybody's full. Um, and I think that, you know, a lot of people have that same sense of what it means to enjoy themselves around the table. And I just wanted to say, listen, there's no reason to starve yourself. There's no reason to hate your life because you have to get on the treadmill because you feel like you have to look like Terry Hatcher. Most people don't look like that. They look like me and, be and bigger. Who's on the phone? Marissa Jarrett Winokur, the host of Dancer Ass Off. Let's see what she has to say. Hello, Marissa Jarrett Winokur. How are you? I'm so good. What are you doing? I'm putting you on speaker. Hang on. Hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, what's up? You're welcome. Uh-huh. Um, I think it looks awesome. And did you get any clothes from StopStaringClothing.com? Um, Carrie Fetman went there today. He went there and, like, is grabbing your wardrobe as we speak. What? I guarantee you he did, too. I'm like, get her color and fabulousness. I love you back. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Um, okay. Marissa on her way to set. Uh, so, anyhow, back to one. Um, I just wanted to, that was pleasant. I just turned into a geyser right there. Um, so, anyhow, yeah. All right. We were talking about food and how we love to eat and how everybody knows what they do wrong. And this was the concept of the show. We all know what we do wrong. We all have watched Oprah and read magazines and heard all, read the tabloids and everybody tells us what we're supposed to do. Less calories in, more calories running down the street, you know, lifting weights, doing whatever you like to do. That's how you lose weight or that's how you stay in shape. We know, we just don't do it because it's more fun to sit on the couch and eat Fritos. So I said, what if we do something fun? I had to put on a whole lot of weight to do Shall We Dance um, and then I needed to take it off and I just kept dancing which I'd love to do my entire life. I did it starting when I was a little kid. My mom used to take me to like Sons of Italy dances and I used to um, dance with my Latina friends in their basement and we used to go to the discos. Back in the day we called them discos, not clubs. And you know, I do the hustle and won all these, these big championships in DC and I taught at Arthur Murray for a while, disco. Um, and then when it came time to do a dance movie, I just had the best time in my life and had to eat about 10,000 calories a day just to keep the weight on. So I figured, you know what? Let's have a good time. Let's all go and, and dance and get dressed up so that we feel pretty and we feel sexy while we're dancing and while we're um, getting in shape. And when you eat, you know, get a big bowl of food. Just It doesn't have to be spaghetti. It can be spaghetti squash with the sauce that my Nana taught me how to make. And you can eat vegetables. And like I'm telling Brandon on the show, you know, if you don't like vegetables, I'm Italian and French, but I grew up in the hood. Everything tastes better with hot sauce or garlic. So whatever it is you like to eat, you put a little hot sauce, you put a little garlic, you know, you eat a big plate of food. You feel satisfied, but it's just eat a little bit smarter. Eat a little bit better for you. 
Um, don't eat the white bread and the white rice and the pasta. Eat rice pasta or whole wheat pasta. You know, just make little adjustments and get out there and do whatever it is that you love to do. So hopefully that's the, the road that we're going down and um, we're all going to love ourselves a little bit more and in the meantime get a little healthier and, uh, you know, just work it, own it, be it, love it, live it, and dance your ass off. Bye.